I've got a protea called Pom Pom, and if you look, most of the shoots grow vertical. See that? They go straight up and down, and they don't fork much. There's a little bit of branching on the verticals, but not very much. So I got out of the car the other day, and I just happened to notice one branch right over here, for some reason, got turned sideways. Because of that, here's the tip. But then it's got a shoot, a shoot, a shoot, a shoot. Many different branches coming off of the side of the same branch just because it turned to the side. What happened is that the sideways turning reduced the epical dominance, or the tip shoot is no longer in control of the uh, auxin hormones here. And so the plant has decided to split its energy into multi-branching. Now where this comes in handy in the garden is both on flowering plants, say like climbing roses or this protea, where you want to see more blooms per square inch. If you turn the long shoots to the side and tie them down, you'll end up with flowers all along rather than just a flower right at the tip. It also helps in plants where they fruit because turning the branches sideways keeps the plant more compact and will cause more flowering closer to the ground on low branches in small areas. There you can see the vertical shoots on the apples they have very little fruit on them. Well, here we have great big clusters of fruit that are hanging on branches that have been turned sideways. You see this? And even the downward hanging wood, some of this hangs downward because of the weight, but a lot of this is because the branch has been turned sideways, it flowers more heavily. We get more fruit. Mm -hmm.